if you can move, you can improve. I don't care what it is. If it's just this, do that. Do what you can do. You can do it. That's right. Do whatever you can do. Now, here's another thing I think is important too. Remember this. Do not stress what you cannot affect. I have no control over what's going on from the standpoint of cancer. I went through radiation. I believe that it's worked. I believe that I'm healed in my body. But I'm not going to stress out about anything. I don't stress out about anything, literally. A lot of people talk like this, but they don't actually put it to practice. If you put it to practice, you won't have bad days. You may have some things happen in your day that you don't like. You may find out that, hey, maybe they say you got pneumonia or something like that. Well, nobody wants to have that but we must think higher. Think positive about your situation. So learn to control your words, all right? Now, how do you do that? What if you have a neighbor or somebody next door here that's coming by and they're like meddling in your business, you know? Busy bodies, you know what I'm talking about? We've all had people like that, okay? You hear them say something, you catch it, you recognize that it wasn't good. That's what you do, you let it go. Don't hold on to those things. This works. I deal with people who are very, how can I say it? They're controlling. They have a lot of money. And they like to do this all the time. And if I listen to the things that some of the people that I coach say, if I didn't have the ability to control what I'm thinking and my words, it could pull me down. All right. Now, I'm not trying to throw too much at you. I'm also blind to my right eye. I'm telling you this because I lost a sight in my eye. I fell on the floor. Two weeks later, I went blind. And literally, in my mind, I haven't been sick in 30 years. I'm blind I'm <coughs> inwardly. Now, this is how I'm walking, right? This is how I'm walking. Watch me. I'm walking like this. Okay? Now, let me show you some. Inwardly, this is how I'm walking. <laughs> this is how I felt on the inside when they said I was totally blind in my right eye. That lasted for about a day. And I realized that I must think higher. I have to think of you. I have to be positive. And guess what I got out of that? I can see out of my left eye. I can see everybody here. Out of the one eye, I can see your smiling faces. And I can see those that maybe aren't smiling, but want to smile. Okay? I can see you want to smile. Come on. You can smile a little bit. Okay? So I have one eye that I can see out of. That's great. And I, at first I thought, hey, maybe I'll luck out and get one of those handicapped parking stickers, right? <laughs> because even though I like to work out all the time, when I go to the store, I like to get in and I like to get out. So I like to park right in front if I can, right? They wouldn't give me a handicap sticker. And the guy says, well, if we give that to you, you can't drive the car. And I said, okay, I guess I don't want a handicap sticker. <laughs> I want to be able to drive. So I lost the sight in my eye. And for a couple days, I was kind of feeling just a little bit, a little bit low, but I'm working on the positive things, right? Thinking positive. And I remember a friend telling me that if you think of being proactive and you say the words proactive, what it will do for you and how it will change you. I can look at you now right now. I walked outside at 6 o'clock in the morning, maybe a little bit before 6 because I start work every day early. And I walked outside. Nobody's outside. I hope this isn't too loud for you, but this is what I screamed out. I won't scream out too loud for you. I feel proactive. I feel proactive. I feel proactive. I feel proactive. That's what I said six times to this day. You may think this is a show. I get so much energy out of that word because it's so positive. I feel proactive. I want you to feel proactive. It changed me. And that countenance that I felt before was up again. Able to just walk like this, kind of like Superman, you know, with a single bound, walk, you know, bounce up on top of buildings. You remember Superman? Everybody's seen those shows. Come on. <laughs> I felt really good inside. But I felt good inside because of how I was thinking, <coughs> the words that I was speaking, and then physical actions. I remember sitting in the hospital for about three days. People would come by the room, they said, What are you doing? And I'm on the floor right now, like, <laughs> I'm doing some push-ups. <laughs> well, you're supposed to be in bed. I said, I'm going to do what I can. You know why? Because if you can move, you can you improve. Good. You can improve, yeah, okay? What? If you can move, you oh. can improve. So what you do is you take what you got. Yeah. You take what you got to get what you want. We have to be intentional about everything that I'm talking about. 
If you want a better life, it starts with your mind, it starts with your word, it starts with the body. It doesn't matter what, if, if they said right now, if they said, hey, you have terminal cancer. What, do I really want to hear that? No. But the reality is this. I'm going to do better by being positive. My friend Mark Rosen from Channel 4 News, his wife has a brain tumor right now. They thought she would have been gone nine months ago. She's still doing well. You want to know why? She has a positive attitude. It's so important to be positive. Yeah. I don't have bad days and people don't, I mean, I walk into Caribou in the morning, I'll order my mocha, I like mocha from Caribou. Not Starbucks, Caribou. I'll get a dark chocolate mocha, 180 degrees, two raw sugar, stir it in. Okay, no chips on top. And I'll walk in, I'll say, good morning, how are you doing? I'm doing all right, well, what's wrong? Well, I don't know, I don't feel good. I said, really? I said, well, I'm having a great day. Well, you always say that. And I said, and I always will. Well, why do you say that? And I said, because I think positive. Well, that just seems unreal. I said, let me explain something. I was told that I have prostate cancer. Whenever I tell people, it stops them in their track. It's a choice that you choose. I am blessed to have the attitude that I have. Haven't been sick in 30 years. And when I talk to people, about the stuff that I'm talking about. I'm talking about it because I believe that it will help you. It will get you up here. It will take you out of that slump that most people are in. Whether they want to admit it or not, most people that are walking around, they have this shell of confidence. But they're angry inside. They're down. Yeah. They're depressed. And they can sometimes be lonely. And I'm sharing that with you because my son, the oldest one, hasn't talked to me in probably years and years. And if I think about it long enough, it could pull me down. But here's the reality. I love him. I can't change whether he talks to me or not. But one thing I can do is be positive about what's going on in my life. And that's what I choose to do. See, so if I pass away without seeing my son, I know I've done the right thing because I love him. It's his choice, see? You have to think positive about your situation. So no matter what happens, when I leave here today, I'm hoping that every single person here will feel better, will think positive, regardless of what's going on. And if you refuse to accept the things that I'm talking to you about, you're just keeping those chains on your body. And they're binding you. And you're never going to get a release in your spirit. I lay down every night. If I was to get up here right now, just would hold me. I just lay up here like that and go to sleep without knocking the plate over or whatever that was, <laughs> okay? It's just a demonstration. Every night, I'm able to lay down and go to sleep. I don't go to bed angry at people because I catch those things. I use my mind. I use my words. I use my actions. Last thing I want to talk about again when I talk about actions, Dad is 93 years of age. We went bowling Sunday celebrating his birthday, and he did... Bam! 178. Not bad, right? Uh -huh. For 93 years of age. Yeah. And for years, people were saying, well, I think your dad's in great shape and you're in great shape because it's all in your genes. That's what they said. It's all in your genes. And quite honestly, until last year, my dad never wore jeans before. <laughs> no, he never wore jeans before until last year. So it isn't in your genes. He was a military guy, so he tended to wear more conservative. All right? Oh, well, sir. So... It isn't about your genes, it's about you taking the action that is necessary. Changing your attitude about everything that you encounter, and you're going to encounter many different things. So what's going to be your choice? Are you going to be able to sing and dance, you know? You should be able to. You should be able to. How many people remember the, the one and only Dean Martin? Yeah. yeah. Raise your hand if you remember Dean Everybody. I love somebody sometime. Everybody loves somebody new. Something in the way you move me. <coughs> now here's the thing. That's a great song. Everybody loves somebody, but do you love yourself enough to do what's necessary so that you can improve the quality of your physical, your mental, and spiritual life, regardless of where you're at? Do you love yourself? That's a great song. Everybody loves somebody. Do you love yourself? Okay. And if you love yourself, let's do the things that will help you. 
Think it positive, speaking positively, and applying positive action. If you can move, see, when I was young, I used to call this is a mini workout, doing this. Da -da 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 okay? It may seem really silly, but it keeps me young. Like I said, I'm almost 66 in a couple months, and I feel really, really good. And I thank God that He has allowed me to be around. But I put to practice the things that are important. It's important what you think about. It's important what you speak. Speak life. A lot of people are speaking death to the situation by their words because they're constantly speaking negative about their situation. Change that. Change it. Change it. The things that I talk about, I live every single day of my life. It doesn't matter how much money you have, it's how much health you have. The healthier you are, the more you can do, the longer you can do the things that you want to do. You say you can't do it? You say you're too old? I say you can. You are never too old to improve the quality of your life. You come home not walking in the house like this. Hello, honey. Hello. How's the day? Well, I don't know. I'm just trying to get along. Because you don't have any energy. But when you take care of yourself, you walk in the house with that energy. Lucy, I'm home! That's the one thing that you cannot buy is good health. You have to earn it. Live life with passion and remember, stay fit, stay positive. Thank you for your time. Give yourself a round of applause for being here. Honestly. Thank you. Thank you. To book Ron Henderson for your next event, call 612-386-8178 or send an email to ron at fitnessking.com. That's ron at fitnessking.com.